My name is Lucas Blackman, representing the University of South Carolina class TSTM 544. Using Google Picasso is your main source of creating photo albums and slideshows. A little about Google Picasso is that it is a free photo editing software from Google that makes your pictures look great, sharing your best photos with friends and family, it's e and it is easy as pressing a button. You will start out by going to your internet browser. In your Google search box, you will type in Google Picasso. And it should be the first one that comes up. And it will be the free download one option that you will choose. Alright, when your download page opens, you will click on download Picasso 3.6. And before importing your download to save, this page allows you to get a brief description of what Google Picasso is and how it organizes and edits your photos in, on your hard drive and it shows a tutorial video how to get started with Picasso web albums. Alright, I already have a version of Google Picasso downloaded on my computer so we'll take it from there. When you launch Google Picasso 3.6 you will immediately see all of your PC photos on your hard drive on file. And don't forget that Google Picasso is a free software from Google that helps you manage your digital photo collection to your best capability. Alright, when you open launch Google Picasso, it will show you everything that you already have on your computer. And if not, you can import them by clicking the import button. If you have a camera that you would like to hook up or a memory chip disk and you can go to file import from go down to import to and choose where you have your pictures located if that may be better all right getting started making a photo album you can go to file again type in new album and I'm gonna name this TSTM Alright, from here it's just like a PowerPoint slideshow if you will. You can add music to your background as it plays or and you can put a description of the location or however you feel free to describe your pictures. Now click OK and you can see that the album has been uploaded. From here you can just drag click and drag and as the album highlights you can drop it in one by one around 12 and these are some pictures from a trip to Italy okay and the way that you can edit or crop any of your pictures if it seems a little blurry or anything is by double clicking on any picture and using Picasso easy to use editing controls that consist of basic fixing, fine tuning, and special effects. The basic fixing, all you do is you want to crop it, just click on crop, and cut out the length of the picture you want and insert it or replace it with another clipping off another picture. And then you can either apply cancel or reset to the regular picture size. I'm going to click reset. or you can click on I'm feeling lucky that contrasts the picture to its ability if you're not sure what all needs to be changed and if anything is needed it will do it for you alright another aspect of basic fixes is adding text to one of your pages one of your slideshow pages now you do is type in 
whatever the text is that you would want to to manage the photo. And then this is a little thing that can angle it, a picture, however you want it. And you can choose different font and size you want. Alright. I'm not going to use that, so I'll just clear all and cancel this. Alright, and a little bit about how your pictures can be organized and you can add a little bit more creativity to it is you can gives you the option to play a full screen slideshow create a photo college album and create a movie presentation but we're going to do a full screen slideshow once the full scene slideshow starts, starts you just click on play and it starts for you if you don't like the contrast to how the slideshow enters and appears you can change how you would like it to enter you can do a dissolve or wipe a circle let's try a wipe and you also can rotate the pictures however you like and I'll click play and now it just wipes in And there you have it, creating a slideshow you can Google, Google Picasso. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the software as much as I do.